In this video, we are creating a wonderful paludarium that you will be dreaming of for days, inspired by the misty mountains of the world. The goal is to make it feel so magical that magnetizes the eyes and makes you travel into the fairy tale of your childhood. Hey there, this is Naya. I'm really proud of this creation. It is a gift for my sister and I was really excited to capture its making to share it with you. We are following the same process that we had in the rainforest video. Let's review. We are going to do the following. Create a false bottom with rocks and coal. Place a separating net. Put the soil. Use our aspiration to landscape and plant. I have put a kind of container to create a lake landscape. There we will be adding the mister, some water and floating plants later in the video. As you can see, we have put an acrylic seed to create a border that does not allow the pebbles from the back to come in front and disturb our view. Instead, we are using some fine black sand to create a more tidy and eye-pleasing result. I have cut the net to the dimensions of the tongue but removed the shape of the lake. We went to the plant shop the other day and we saw a Kaluna that was so beautiful and wonderful that I couldn't resist buying it. Having this project in mind, I thought what if Kalunas can be used inside paludariums and terrariums since their uh, needs are similar to asparagus and other plants like these. So in this video we are using again some asparagus ferns that are the love of my life and this Kaluna, hoping that she will survive the challenge. If you ever want to create something magical and fairy, make sure to not forget the moss. Moss looks fascinating to humans for many reasons and one of them is the fact that it makes us think of other worlds. You never know when you will find the luck to spot a forest nymph running inside the microcosm of moss, so keep observing. Obviously, we can see other microorganisms as well, like isopods and springtails, but some people might freak out on the sight of them, so keep thinking of the forest nymph for now.
I believe that through the art of nature making we can find again our ways of balancing our soul and spirit.